Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to do a broccoli cheese casserole. So I've already, I made fresh broccoli. So I've already boiled it and I've already set it aside. It's draining right now. You can also use frozen. Um, just follow the link below and it'll give you different notes and ideas on variations, different variations if you want to switch some things up. Uh, this is going to um, include cheddar cheese soup and cheddar cheese. So there's that. So let's go ahead and start with our the sauce part of it. The sauce part of a recipe. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put in some dried minced onion instead of chopped onion just so that this goes quickly because it's a week week night and I'm gonna pair this up with some pork chops and we're just gonna go fast 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 as fast as we can go um, first thing is is your onion all right then you're gonna add your cheddar cheese soup straight out of the can our milk in which is about a half a cup and I'm gonna have to use a quarter cup measure we we'll use some almond milk but you don't have to you can use regular whole milk and we're gonna go ahead and put our mayo in you can use sour cream instead But not every household has sour cream and mayonnaise they usually have. And then our spices. We need about a teaspoon of garlic powder. We need about a teaspoon of pepper. Um, we need about a half teaspoon of dry mustard. That's dry mustard. Half a teaspoon of salt. And then the next thing is, is I shredded eight ounces of cheddar. We're gonna use half of it in a casserole. Clean. And I overcooked it because I was afraid that it wouldn't get done. oven is preheated to 350. I started that when I started boiling my broccoli. This is in a 9 by 13 pan, but I had about two pounds worth of fresh broccoli when I cooked it, so you may not need a pan as big. We'll put the rest of the cheese on top. Beyond gravel, beyond all. I'm gonna take my Ritz crackers. You just need one sleeve of Ritz crackers. Here, let me see if I can move this so you can see. and I'm gonna put it in my cheese bowl that I just used. I'm gonna crush these. You could probably even use saltines. It's gonna get a little bit different flavor, but still gives you a little crunch at the end. About a half a stick of melted butter. And I'm gonna take a fork and kind of stir everything around. A bigger scale the world in hands. As we go. 
And you're gonna sprinkle this. You're gonna bake uncovered, 350 degrees for about 35, 40 minutes. Be sure to watch it because your crackers can burn. Okay, y'all, so here's the finished product. It was easy to assemble and it was done in the 35 minutes of a lot of time that the recipe stated. Um, I did tint the um, top of it after so many minutes because it did seem like it was browning too quickly. So you need to keep that in mind. Um, butter will burn quick. I'm going to do a Southwestern potato casserole. You need to preheat your oven 400 degrees. And you need to get a big bowl and you need to combine your sour cream, your cream of chicken soup, your rotel tomatoes, and your cheese. I had to use Velveeta cut from a uh, big two pound block because I could not find shredded. So there's that. And you can look below for all the measurements if I, in case I don't mention them. Uh, I'm making this recipe as it's stated on the website where I got the recipe and I will put that down below so that you'll know exactly where to go to find it. And you're gonna use Rotel tomatoes, but drain those first. And I already put in a cream of chicken soup, 16 ounces of sour cream, Belveda, and this can of Rotel. You're gonna combine it. And then you're gonna need 32 ounces of hash browns. You can let them defrost a little on the counter, but do not completely thaw them. You're also gonna need to add some dried minced onion, about a tablespoon. I could wipe my own memory out. will be to put everything in a 9 by 13 sprinkle this with tortilla chips five minutes on 400 degrees until everything's cooked through. Okay y'all this is the finished product. It did take closer to an hour to get done. I'm not really sure why that was um, but it's all done now. I paired it with some fried chicken and a brioche roll um, but anything will work. It's a perfect side dish. It's just a little bit different than your typical hash brown casserole. All right make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.